Okay, welcome to Click Click, episode 25 from www.abccubed.com. ABC Cubed, this is your host running solo today, Arquan, just a simple guy with a camera. This episode was recorded live on October 5th, 2010. As a typical photographer, I shoot many, like hundreds of photos per seating or per event. Then sometimes... You want to um, share those photos online with um, on Flickr, Facebook, um, or send them to your friends and family. And maybe that one time, or many times, you want to actually lay down on that photo and say, Hey, that's the property of Mr. Kwan. So, what do I have today? Well, today, I will create the very first tutorial of how to create a watermark in Photoshop CS4. So, I open up Photoshop, let's begin. So, I open up Photoshop CS4, and I'm going to open up my photo. Ba bam right there. I shot a picture of two birds. This is actually a crop photo of two birds. And I'm going to um, open up my actions palette. Let me, by holding Alt, clicking on F9, I'm using Windows, and basically what this is, whoa, let's close here, basically what this is, I'm going to delete this one, that's probably my many runs before I get this finalized version, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, the action, the action palette Short version is that it records every step that you do in Photoshop. Basically, so that it records every step in, for, in me that producing this watermark so that I can apply to all future photos without doing this again. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to hit this uh, new action. And I'm going to call it watermark. So I'm going to go record. And let's let's create our watermark now. So I'm going to do the horizontal type tool. I'm going to put it anywhere here. I'm going to type in www, my, our website. And I'm going to insert the copyright by holding Alt 0169. But bam, that's the copyright symbol. And I'm going to put my name. And I like to align these usually. So I select both layers, as you can see, and I'm going to select layer, aligned, bottom edge. Let's go to the right edge, and aligned, right edge. Okay. See, it's still too dark, as you can see. I mean, because you don't want that to distract your photos, right? You don't want your your watermark to distract the photos or take any pieces of it. So basically I select the same layer and I'm going to give it a style. I'm going to stylize it. So I'm going to emboss it. Say OK. Say OK. See how it's much lighter now? Not only that, I also like to do hard light on it. So it shines it a little bit lighter on the side as you can see. And and if you can't see, let me do this again. So this is normal. This is hard light. Much lighter now. So it, uh, hopefully this doesn't distract too much from the photo. And um, oh, and then I like to put... So it's pretty much done. But I'm going to also go to File Info. Fill in the offer. Put in the website. Do OK. And I think that's it. I'm going to um, stop recording because now it's that's that's it. See, it records every step as you can see. Meet text layer, align this, set layer, emboss it. See, it's, it's pretty much recording every step. So basically, that's the watermark. I mean, thanks for watching. And Oh, I have, I'm really not done yet, sorry. So um, the next step here is actually to, to do it for future photos. What I would do is I would go to File, 
go to automate select batch and select watermark then you choose the you know the folder that you want to um, select and then you hit OK and it will apply this watermark to it and that's it thank you for taking a look at this and I'll see you next time thank you and bye bye signing off